When most people visit Belize, they stick to the beautiful beaches on the coast. But Belize is also known for its dense jungles and some of the most impressive Mayan ruins in the world, including Shudantinich. Join us as we explore this amazing UNESCO World Heritage. Susie and Martin, and for many years we did marketing and media for Hana Stables, a local business specializing in horse rides to Zanachinich. Yeah, this is the farm, and way out there you can see the top of the pyramid, the ruins, which is really one of the top selling points for this location. The horse tour starts here, and you ride all the way up to the ruins, and you have to dismount once you get there, but you can walk all around the ruins on foot. Sadly, the tour company is no longer in business. And this was our last trip there. That's the main temple at Shunantanich, which is the Maya city we're going to, okay? We're riding in Hana Stables on the ranch, taking some videos of horses today so that we can promote and put it on YouTube. Already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I think we can set up by the cows. Action time. The herd is all around. I'm taking a shot of this little baby cow feeding. So this is how we're doing this. Two camera angles and we are going forward by car and anticipating them shooting when they approach, shoot a bit after they pass and then get back into the car and surpass them. And we just happen to be right here by a herd of cows in the jungle. <laughs> this is the main attraction in the region, Zunantunich. And this is where you cross the river on a hand-powered ferry. Here we have the only hand-powered ferry that I'm aware of. I'm sure they exist, but this is the one I know about on the Mopan River. With some horses in a car on the ferry. Hand-powered ferry, takes cars on board. Definitely something you don't see every day. Ferry is departing, and we're now in the wild. Nobody's lived on this side since the Maya, right? And this this side of the river is the same side as Guatemala, right? No, no. We're still in Belize. Still in Belize, but if you continue this way, the, oh yes, then we're in into Guatemala. Guatemala. So now we're riding towards the pyramid. The ranch is literally on the border between the savanna transitions into jungle, and you can see here how it's getting thicker all around me. We're arriving at Shunantunich. Here we are in Shunantunich. We're back. We're back, yes. We've been here a bunch. Uh -huh. I've been here. This is my fourth time here. And the stone lady. We're anticipating the riders so we can get some shots of them arriving at the tourist attraction. We're also hoping to get monkeys. There's at least two different kinds, I think. So there's howler monkeys and I forgot which spider, spider monkey. monkeys. We're right up here on the first one. It's a spider monkey. Right oh, I see it. I see it. I see. I see the monkeys. I see them hanging. The monkeys are right up here, hanging off their tail. Like monkeys like to. There they are. So right ahead of us straight, you see a no entry sign, that's where the people would have entered originally. We no longer use that entrance. So there's a structure right ahead there. It's now dark black with a big lily white. Entering Zunantunich. And this is the main ground, the main structures. But of course, these are the top structures and this was really just uh, the center of a city. Quite a big city actually for when it was built. 
Here we have the main feature in the distance. That's the one that's actually called Zunantunich, the stone lady. In this country, you can still climb Mayan pyramids. Who knows how long? Probably not very long. But right now you can. People are on the top there. I did it. I did it. I did it. I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Look at me, quite easy. Just uh, do, you hey, want me to hold it? Don't make no sudden movement. It will just walk. If you're calm enough, it will not even move, buddy. Trust me, I'm not, I'm oh, a big, uh, I've been doing He's this like, for I've years. Been doing it. Put your next hand right here for it to walk on, and then you move it. Oh, but you're calm. Dude, See, it's you not are even awesome. moving, dude. You are my hero. Wow. That is... All right. See, for you it guys, to move, it's you Indiana touch it. Indiana Jones, <laughs> right <laughs> here in Belize. Right? <laughs> move this hand and put it in front now for it to walk so on. Simple walk. as that. See? Go home now. <laughs> He's leaving. He wants yeah. to go hunt. Like, go away. <clears throat> the Mayans are practically four to four and a half feet tall. Mm -hmm. A lot of people imagine these structures were built from big slabs of rocks. The pyramids, no. Regular rocks in the back. Mm -hmm. Only the facial rocks were carved. Everything these people did was a psychological control to control the mass below. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed. It's still happening today. <laughs> it still happens. All right. I'm climbing up the pyramids looking for monkeys. It's a howler monkey, small one. Time to climb this pyramid. This is how it really was. These are the original stairs. Me, yeah, you can see they've been carved out of limestone, and they crumble easily, but. They get rest restored a bit. And here we are. On top of a Mayan pyramid. There is Tikal, one of the, well, probably the most famous ruins, along with Chichen Itza. So Tikal, what you can say, was the center between 200 and 300 AD. But by 543 AD, they were conquered by Tikal. I mean by Caracol, which is from Belize. Okay. Okay, so the power base had shifted to the mid-classical period. So the first structure to be built here was the main temple, El Castillo. It's 40 meters high, the second tallest structure in my country behind Kana at Caracol, okay? More protein than your average plate of food. <laughs> oh my God. Okay? They taste like wood. They're not very nice like some people will tell you. Okay. But, but they, they would keep you alive if you were last and hungry in the rainforest. They will rebuild back that tunnel in a few minutes. Now I'm going to climb this pyramid right ahead of me, all the way to the top in the hottest sun of the day. Looks like a wedding or a, some kind of photo shoot is happening, so I'm gonna take the way around the back. Where these people can do their wedding in peace. This one is pretty tall. It's the tallest in this complex. And here we go. Science. Ah, you're making it up. I'm making it. Getting steeper and it over here. The sun is now heating up. Here we are, scaling the pyramid. Right, I remember the main difference now between the structures then and now is that early days they just had one room to the top single use structures. Now they become multi purpose like El Castillo. You had the residence for the royal family. It was the main sacrificial temple. And also we found tombs and crypts inside. So it became a triple-use building instead of just a single-use structure. Mm -hmm. If you look how that main temple is built and all the top here, perfect place for you to defend. Caracol, we don't have no evidence of Caracol attacked in Shadantanich due to how it was built like a fortress. It's really now clear why they set up here on a throne. You really get this king of the world feeling here. Mm -hmm. It's a 360 panorama, way above the canopy of the forest. And you get a very nice breeze. And you see everything all around you. On the top of the world, like Mayan kings. <laughs> and queens. Queens. We're gonna make it down. And down the pyramid we go. All right, making way our way down this time, the face of the pyramid, now that the wedding is over. It's a cool freeze here, restored. And once upon a time, it was colorful. And this is the main facade. It's time to find shade and milkshakes. That's right. it's middle of the day. It's really hot. 
time to go cool off. These are more freshly excavated, I believe. And climbing is prohibited. It I... took, what, three, four times of coming here to finally see the monkeys. That's here. right. Apparently they're spreading, big. now there's many more monkeys yeah. than when we came five it years. It like there's more, because there are some just at the entrance. And I guess there's one that just hangs out there. And when we've come here before, that was never been the case. And that's it for our Zunantunic appearance. We're back. Yeah? Yeah, and the yeah. sun is burning now. Did you have a good, good time? Yeah, very yeah. good time. Yeah. It was good. Monkeys are right up front here. The monkeys? Yeah. You didn't go to the wedding? We did, we, we did. Yeah. yeah, we were there. <laughs> we watched it from up top. We went to the wedding. The guy was in a suit. I don't know how he did that. Poor guy. Yeah. In a suit? Yeah. yeah. Another wedding. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow.